Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another video tutorial. And in this video, we shall be taking a technical dissection on the current market structure on this pair called the USD JPY. In fact, this is going to be a follow-up detail to my previous analysis on this pair and talking about follow-ups. Um, last week trading session was quite a profitable experience for us as the USD JPY was one of the major profitable instrument for us during the course of last week's trading session. And before I go into the details of what our expectations are on this video, I would like to share with you some key moments that we had uh, during the course of last week's trading session. Well, at the beginning of the week, you will remember that we had an open position prior to the opening of the market session where we took advantage of a buy opportunity above the 131 that was on Friday before the beginning of last week's trading session. Then at the beginning of the week, we noticed our price action broke out the resistant point of the channel around the 131.650 level to give us a beautiful signal of a bullish momentum for the week. And in addition to that, we had the structure here between the 131.900 level and the support level here where price action started the bullish momentum at the 131.400. <coughs> and we were lucky enough to be part of this trade as we continue to join the bullish momentum to the upside here. And on, on, on the 13th of, that was on Tuesday, we saw the situation here where price was initially rejecting the 132.900 with a, some level of selling pressure there. And we thought if the sell pressure here continues, a breakdown of that bullish trend line will be a beautiful opportunity to join a sell momentum. Mind you, uh, the previous position we had, we moved our stop loss to secure the current position as we had a sell position triggered had the 132.550, a level where price action broke down that bullish trend line for the first time. And we had a sell momentum run to the downside here, had it more position and price action continued to move to the downside. The key moment didn't come until on the 14th of February. It was a Valentine day. And in fact, we had a simple setup identified on the one hour time frame where we had the 131.800 level, a level which was broken during the early early hours of the new week, a retest of structure here, and we were of the opinion that we might be seeing a trend continuation from this area. And if it so happens that price action breaks down, retest that structure, we will definitely be joining a decline to the downside. And on the 15 minutes time frame, I quickly updated us with this simple setup here, where we are looking out for buying opportunity above the 132.00 level. And this was what happened. Price action broke out of that structure. We looked out for more opportunities at the breakout of the 132.300. Uh, there was a little volatility in the market which took us out of all the positions we had. And that was as a result of the CPI which later happened on that day. Then we had the retest of the 132.300. We joined that bullish move and we continued to add more position as price action moved significantly well in our favor to eat our TP target um, at the 135.00 level. As you can see, price continued to move and we had a TP target eat. So with multiple entries, we had about 800 pips in profit on that one. So congrats to everyone who had been part of this trade as we are going to be heading into the new week with a fresh new perspective. And for those who want to have a detailed look into how we took each trade for last week, I will be dropping the link in the comment section of this video for reference purposes. And if you are watching on my YouTube channel, you will be seeing the link to those commentaries on the top right hand side of your screen. So with that being said here, I want us to be diving right back into the daily time frame here where I was able to identify the fact that price action has been bullish since um, in the last two years on this one. Uh, 
So since this is going to be a follow-up detail to my previous analysis, I will be zooming right into the most important structure in this market. And if you want to see how we got to this point, I will be dropping the link to that video as well in the comment section of this video. And if you are watching on my YouTube channel, just check the link at the top right hand side of your screen and it will take you right into um, the video that explained the market structure to this current area. So with that being said here, yeah, this is what we saw prior to last week's trading session as we saw these um, price action caught within a consolidation phase within the 127.00 level and the 131.00 area. And one significant thing about the current consolidation phase here was the fact that price action transitioned into a reversal pattern here in the form of a double bottom structure, which from a technical standpoint is a very strong reversal pattern. And whenever we identify such a reversal pattern like this, the next thing we want to be doing is to identify the neckline of that structure, which coincidentally fell around the 131.00 level. Remember how important that key level is in our previous video, as it has been a strong buy niche in this market in the last 8 to 10 months now. So during the course of last week's trading session, I think about two weeks ago, we saw the breakout retest of that structure to confirm that reversal pattern. And throughout the course of last week's trading session, we were lucky enough to be part of this bullish momentum, which took us all the way up into the 135.00 area where we took our profit on this buy momentum. Now, if we look at this current structure here, you would agree with me that at this point, we are at a critical point in this market where we need to see how price action will be reacting to the 135.00 level to decide what our next line of action will be. And if you look at the 135.00 level here, it also shares a beautiful confluence with that bearish trend line. Remember, we saw the beginning of a bearish momentum here and the month of October, we saw the rejection of that level at the 150.500 area. We saw the retest of this trend line here, and this trend line here um, shares that beautiful confluence with the 135.00 level, where we said it's very important that we remain patient here to see how price action will be reacting to the structure to decide what our next line of action will be. And at this point in time, you would agree that um, price could either go anyway. First of all, if we take into consideration the bearish momentum that has lasted on this pair in the last three to four months, and looking at the sharp rejection of the 135.00 level during the last trading day of last week, uh, you might be expecting that price will do some multiple rejection of this level to respect that bearish trend line one more time to incite a sell-off in this market. So that is one possibility we shall be looking forward to going into the new week. Another possibility that could happen here, considering this bullish momentum that started in the month of January this year, we might likely see a situation where a breakout of the 135.00 level, a level which I said shares a confluence with the bearish trend line. And if this happened, this will be a beautiful sign that the trend line may no longer hold bullish bearish momentum anymore and the appearance of buy pressure above this level will be a beautiful opportunity for us to join a rally to the upside from this current structure. Now with this information we have gathered here on the daily time frame, I would like us to dive into the lower time frame where we want to see what has really been going on around this area in the last couple of days to plan out how to position ourselves for any potential trading opportunity for this week. But before I go into the details on the 4 hours time frame, I would want us to scale through the economic calendar as we have um, a couple of macroeconomic events to look forward to for this week. And um, if we look at the economic calendar, give me a moment, let me quickly run through um, this okay 
So we have a couple of macroeconomic events to look forward to for this week. And our focus will be on the US dollar. And the first high impact event didn't come, wouldn't come until Wednesday, 22nd of February. And we are going to be seeing the FOMC minute coming up on that day. Then the next one will be coming up on Thursday, 23 of February, as we have the GDP annualized for quarter four coming up too as well. And these are very high impact events that majority in this market will definitely be anticipating. And we shall obviously be seeing the anticipation of this event reflect on the chart as price action. So with this being said here, we shall be diving right into the four hours time frame so that we can take a technical position on what our expectation should look like during the new week. So right here on the four hours time frame, this is what I was able to identify here on the four hours time frame. And one thing we should take note of is the fact that as soon as price tested the 135.00 level, a level which I shared with you on the daily time frame, remember, it also shares a beautiful confluence with the bearish trend line we identified on the daily time frame. We saw selling pressure resume around that area. And with that being said here, it's very, very likely that we might have a situation where a bearish momentum could happen. As if you take into consideration the bullish momentum that started here last week, um, a retracement phase is long overdue at this point, as we might likely see price action retrace into somewhere within our golden zone area, which is always between the 50 and the 78.6% of the previous impulse leg in anticipation of another wave of bullish momentum. Now, how do we want to position ourselves if that is going to be the case here? Well, looking at what has been happening here since last week and taking into consideration the importance of the 131.00 level, you can see that we have this bullish trend line, which I will be calling a major one here. And that is why I gave it a tick dotted line. Then after that one, we saw the deviation happen here during the course of last week, as we saw a new temporary bullish trend line continue to support bullish momentum throughout the course of last week's trading session. And as a result of this, we shall be using this trend line to guide trading activity. So with the situation we have here, we have the 135.00 level, we have the 133.900 level, which has also been a strong support level that incited the last impulsive move that tested the 135.00 level. I am of the opinion that if price action does break down this bullish trend line, breaking down the 133.900 level followed by sudden pressure below the structure, we might see a situation where price will drop further to the downside, probably into the 133.00 level where a possible trend continuation to the upside could likely happen. However, if the contrary happens here in such a way that we see price action break down the 133.00 level, then we'll have, no, we'll have no choice but to add more position to our sell position to join the bearish momentum to the downside. So this is one of the perspectives I will be looking forward to for the new week. Then another thing that will happen here is price could continue with the bullish momentum that it started last week in such a way that price breaks out of the 135.00 level, which will be the first time in a long time. And this will be a beautiful signal to, to join a bullish momentum to the upside. So I'll be, I'll be pausing the video at this point and I promise that I will be joining you in the comment section of this video on Monday after monitoring our participants in this market, we'll be reacting to this current structure to decide what our next line of action will be. I hope this video has been of immense help in making your personal decision on the USDJPY. And if it did, kindly support this project by clicking the like button. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you same time tomorrow as we get prepared for the new, York, for the new week. Do have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.